Welcome back, beer connoisseurs! My name, of course, is Open Potato, and this is Brewer, that's right. Uh, and at the end of the last episode, we just sort of... Uh, we just sort of uncovered a, a whole load of extra map, where, uh, where we're able to build some more pubs. Uh, I think it's only right if we build a pub uh, down in uh, down in Drunkville, and of course I would be uh, I would be uh, I would be remiss if I didn't mention at this opportunity to thank everyone who uh, who gave feedback on the series. I think we'll we'll give it a go. I don't think this is going to be a particularly long series, but you know we'll uh, we'll see we'll see where we'll see where the the game goes, and we'll sort of roll with the punches. All right, I'm going to open a brand new pub down in Drunkville. It says that it's going to cost four thousand five hundred bucks. I mean, does that depend where we go? Okay, it's literally based on the number of pubs that you have. Okay, it's not based on local real estate values or anything like that. Okay, great. Well, we've got a brand new pub and open a new pub in a city district where there is no competitors pub. Okay. Uh, we've now uncovered the entirety of the map, apparently. Well, that is just fine and dandy. I mean, that's not too bad. That's a- that is an airport over there. Wowzers, that looks like a- I mean, that- that, that does not look like an airport. Uh, that- the scale seems completely wrong. Very wrong. I don't know, something just seems very off. Uh, anyway, yes, let's get back to business and, uh, and let's talk about- let's talk about money and what we're gonna do and what more beers we're gonna- we're gonna make. Yeah, I don't understand that. Open a... Uh, yeah, okay, let's just not worry about that for now. Okay, I need to get... I need to get... The pub will be ready to open in 72 hours. Oh, 72 hours is ages away. Ages away. So perhaps we can think about getting an upgrade in... This pub? Pub size, snack menu. Each level increases the revenue by 20% and increases the maintenance cost. What about upgrading the capacity? Pub size, is that literally it? Number of visitors by 50, increase the storage by 400, increases the maintenance costs. Okay, you can't upgrade an open pub. Uh, it's 7 p.m. All right, fine. Well, let's just wait until tomorrow then. I hope that we're going to have enough beer. Let me just pause and make sure that everyone is doing something. Also, we need to try and do some more beer delivery orders, but I'm really not super bothered about it. You're going to do some more work. Okay. Should we do some tank cleaning? There are no brewery tanks available for cleaning. What's going on? Oh, no. They're all clean. All right. I don't even know why I'm complaining then. Let's just... Let's just go directly to the next day and see exactly what we've got. So, 67 hours before the pub in Drunkville opens up. That's fine. Let's get this pub upgraded as much as we possibly can. Pub size, yep, let's uh, throw that in there. And then let's also set some beer up to brew in just a second once uh, once we've all got everything ready to rock and roll. Okay, so we should now have a capacity of 100, which means, well, first of all, that we're going to be selling a heck of a lot more beer. And therefore, we're going to need to make sure that we get as much beer moved across here as possible. At the moment, we're just selling the Orby Brew, a little bit of malt liquor, and uh, some dark lager. I'm not super happy with that selection. I think that we need to, to up that uh, quite a bit. I mean, how much... How much do we have sort of sitting around here? We've got a lot of units. We've got a lot, a lot of units. And we got a lot of units that are going to expire at some point. So, not super happy about that, but that's okay. We can deal with that a little bit later. Uh, I think I'm going to move about f uh, 400, 400 units, uh, maybe 300 units. We'll move 300 units of Orby Brew across. We'll move all of the Dark Lager across. Hundo Hundo, eh, no, we'll sort of leave that there for now. And then we'll move all of the Swill across, or as much of the Swill as we possibly can. Yeah, and then... We'll just dispatch that to the pub, and there should be a plentiful amount of... There should be a plentiful amount of storage. Let's get the boss to do it. Sure. Perfect. Let's get some more stuff brewing. Uh, I say... I say stuff. I mean, of course, beer. We can make pretty much whatever we want. It would be an idea to try and get it to coincide with this. So we need 83% quality. And 35 to 100 for all of the traits. I mean, okay, so creativity. Finally, we're starting to see beers that are slightly creative. So if I was to get a... 
Novo Primorsk Rye Beer, then that might just be suitable for that beer order. Okay, so let's learn the learn the Novo Primorsk thingy. Yeah, the Novo Primorsk Rye Beer, and then let's go about making some of it, shall we? That seems like a pretty darn good idea. I need to go to recipes right here. Great, choose the brewery tank, whatever. Choose the employee. We'll we'll get our man with a plan. We'll make as much as we possibly can. Uh, why are we doing the small brewery tank? No, we want to use the huge brewery tank, obviously. Let's buy the ingredients. 180 bucks. I mean, that is... That is a steal. That is an absolute steal. Okay, let's go into the manual brewing mode and see what we can do. I don't know how complicated this thing is going to be to brew. Right. Turns out... Not very. Right. There we go. I think we're going to make this a signature. Alright. Uh, catcher in the rye. Uh, which I've never actually read before. Never actually read before? That doesn't that doesn't make sense. Uh, the point is, is that I'm going to just try and make as, uh, make as many sort of signature beers as I possibly can. I mean, 15 signature beers is it's fine. It's all good. We are going to... As soon as it's fermented, we're going to set that up to be sold. That's going to be great. I'm hoping that we're going to be able to make enough money to open at least two other pubs in today's episode. Here and here. Boozy Town and Hangover Shore. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So, how's the disorder looking in this place? It's not looking too bad at all. But I think we should probably just get a cleaner in just to make sure that it's all, all up to scratch. Pub cleaning. Yep, yeah, Norman, you're my man. Right, let's go. Cool. Looking good. So, we should now have a heck of a lot more beer over here. We got a lot of Orby Brew queued up. Right, as uh, as you know, I am a massive fan of putting the price up as much as we possibly can on absolutely everything. No beer in transit, beer in selling. I mean, that doesn't strictly make sense, but I'm not going to... Not gonna rag on too hard about that. I mean, I literally do not think that there is anything we need to do other than maybe a little bit of cleaning. We'll get the boss to do a little bit of cleaning. Sure. Two hours later. Great. And then I guess we can sort of just set up for another brew. Yeah, is that what we're really after? I mean, we could learn a brand new recipe. Okay, zero to 65 for bitterness for a brand new beer. We don't have any beer that meets that requirement. Okay, so we need 48 hours minimum expiry. That's not a problem. And then 35, 35, and then a zero in there. Okay. 35, 35. Rice, ale. Would that do it? I don't think... I don't think any of these things at the moment are going to be able to satisfy that demand. 35 to 105, zero to... Six. It just needs a very low level of bitterness and a very high level of creativity and strength, which is what's slightly challenging. Yeah. Yeah, we can't go below... The creativity is the problem, right? The creativity is the real problem. Novo Primorsk Rye. I think that might actually be... Yeah, that might actually be the thing that we... We end up selling. Okay, well, that's fermenting for another 10 hours. Maybe we just make some more of this Novo... Novo Primersk uh, rye. We'll make some more catcher in the rye, sure. Right, let's, uh... Let's just queue it up. And we'll get our... We get our, our man that knows. I tell you what I'm also gonna do. I'm gonna upgrade the brewery. It's gonna take me financially to a little bit of a dodgy... A little bit of a dodgy place, but that's okay. Not gonna worry about that too, too much. And then let's get some more of this. Huge brewery tank, choose the employee. That's right, we're gonna do it with Omar. Buy all of the ingredients, skip the manual brewing, and what do you know, we end up with uh, with 100. All right, fantastic. So let's go and have a little look at the storage. Looks like the storage is fine. Can I start moving stuff across to the brand new pub? I don't think I can. I need to wait until it actually opens. Oh, hold up. I haven't actually opened the pub up. That was stupid. Right, boss is on bartending. Omar, uh, you can take the night off and you can do pub security. Right, there we go. 52 guests. 
That's a pretty disappointing... That's a pretty disappointing uh, turnout, to be honest. In fact, I would, I would dare say that that is a very, very disappointing turnout. I really should have... I should have... I should have done... I should have done substantially better than that. Right, well, how long is it before all of our beer has matured? 25... 25 hours? Right, well, that's going to take a significant period of time. We can't send any of these beer orders because we don't have any of the beers that meet the requirements. But we're just waiting for the catcher and the rye to mature, and then eventually, I'm sure that will work. Who's a better bouncer? You're a better bouncer. Okay, Omar, you're going to do a little bit of cleaning today. Pub cleaning, sure. Get that all cleaned up. Uh, boss man, you can do some tax evasion. Sure. There we go. Looking good. You got two hours left to tax evasion. That's a-okay. Uh, Omar, you want to do some tank cleaning? There we go. Okay, it's pub opening hour. Let's get the Norman chap on bartending. There we go. And then let's let everyone go forward by an hour. And then, boss, you can be on security for the evening. Fantastic. Okay, I'm hoping that we make a bunch of money. I maybe need to start advertising a little bit more. Yeah, it does look like the number of... Ah, okay. Alright, that's okay. The fact that there was a dust-up, that's not too much of a problem. That's A-OK. -okay. We're 10 hours away from fermenting, which is, which is cool. Has it happened yet? We're two hours away from fermenting. That's that's grand. And we're ready to open the pub in 11 hours, so we're going to be ready for the rush today. Great. Okay, uh, first things first, we need to make sure that the pub is absolutely as clean as possible, because otherwise we're going to have problems. Who's a good cleaner? Uh, apparently that's not a trait that anyone values. That's, that's a bit of a shame, because being good at cleaning is, uh, is really quite important. Right, what do we need more of? Orby Brew? We're fine for Orby Brew. We need more malt liquor. We don't... We don't... I mean, is the malt... Is malt liquor an Orby Brew? I think the... I think it is, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that it is. I'm pretty sure that it's the same. Yeah, it's a pale beer. It's the same stuff. Okay, so why don't we make some Novo Primorsk Hooch? Sure, we'll do this. And we'll choose an employee. Uh, we'll get the brewer, which is Omar. That's great. Should I make this a signature? Let's not make it a signature for now. Buy the ingredients. Skip that. What is that? 72%? Uh, that's pretty dodgy, to be honest. All right, well, we got a heck of a lot of... We got a heck of a lot of beer. Okay, let's do some... Omega tax avoidance. Right. Okay. Disorder is back down to zero. Let's get the boss. Let's get the boss doing some advertising. Because I'm a little bit concerned with how little advertising we've done recently. Okay. No advertising for pubs available. Nine hours. This pub is open in. That's cool. How are we doing, by the way? Messages. There's a new beer delivery order. Out of beer... Pretty sure this came in ages and ages ago. Delete all messages. I don't I don't don't I don't care at all. I really do not do not care at all. What I do need to make sure that I do is transport some more beer across to the across to the pub. Alright, let's get let's get as much swill as we possibly can. Let's get uh, let's get like 300 units of it. Orby brew, let's transfer another 300. And catcher in the rye as well. Yeah, sure. That's a brand new. It's a brand new beer, which means we should be able to see some interesting stuff happen. Right, catcher in the rye. Yep. Catcher in the rye as well. Yep. And catcher in the rye. Yep. Okay. Perfect. So that has significantly buoyed up our finances, which is great. Very, very happy with that. Can I increase the pub even further? What does this do? Increases the revenue by 20% and increases the maintenance costs by 
three dollars per hour. Rival agents. Oh my goodness. Am I worried about rival agents? Not particularly. Let's increase profitability. That seems like a good thing to do. I want to start the tank cleaning as well. Norman, sure. I should probably hire some more people so that I don't go over their eight hour, uh, eight hour a day working limit. There we go. Also, are we ready? Five hours. Five hours. All right, so it might open later this evening, but barely. Okay, we're almost maxed out of storage. Can I put the price of this up as high as we possibly can go? That's, that's cool. Catcher in the Rye. This will be the first time that it that it graces the shelves. Popularity is 74. Profitability is 100. Great. Let's uh, let's see what we got. Okay. Can I can I do advertising? No, no advertising. I can't get two people out advertising at the same time. That's a bit of a bummer. Okay. Let's see what we got. Okay. So you're gonna be bartending. Perfect. Get the boss on bartending. Uh, that's 70 people, by the way. 70 people. Security guard. Uh, no, sorry, who was our better guard? Uh, yeah, Norman. I thought it was you. Security guard. There we go. Let's do that. And then in one hour... Pause. Pub will be ready to open in one hour. Hey! Drunk Phil. Okay, can I just get, uh, can I just get you to bartend? Thing is, is that I actually don't think that we have any beer over there. Okay, let's, uh, let's get a good selection of brews over there. Swill, I don't want to take, I don't want to take all that stuff. We'll take 100 units. Orby Brew, we've already got over there. Hundo Hundo, sure. Catcher in the Rye, as many units as we possibly can. Okay, so that's a pretty darn good selection, if I do say so myself. Let's get this moved over to the brand new pub in Drunkville. Uh, we'll choose an employee. Omar, sure. Uh, we're going to need to pick up a few more people, I think. Yeah. I am going to get two more. Yeah, so Dustin and Sam. Dustin and Sam. Let's get this pub opened. There we go, so that we have someone, and no, I don't need any more people. I just need a, another security guard. There we go. Okay, 19 people. Nobody's actually drinking any beer, though. Now people are indeed drinking beer, which is great. Omar's just finished his uh, shift moving some beer around. That's really good. Let's move a bunch more swill across, and a bit more Catcher in the rye, and then a bit more Orby Brew. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. And let's move it across to Drunkville, and let's get Omar to do it again. Okay, great. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Uh, it's now it's now pretty darn expensive. Uh, it's now pretty darn... Uh, well, I say expensive. Expensive is not the right term. It's pretty darn complicated. Our supply chain is quite large now, uh, and we kind of need to worry about it. So it's... Pretty wild, actually. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, we've got a lot. We got a lot of stuff to. We got a lot of stuff to think about. We got a lot of stuff to think about. We got a lot of stuff to do. Right. Oh, beautiful. One thousand two hundred bucks for doing almost nothing. Can I increase? Oh no, I can't. I can't upgrade the pub right now. Can I? All right. I mean, it works. It absolutely works. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I just unlocked an achievement called You Call This Beer? Question um, mark. I mean, people seem to be complaining that I'm selling swill. I mean, I don't care. It's available at, uh, at, 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 every, at every shop. Okay, well, let's sleep and let's see what we've got in store tomorrow. I think that, honestly, we should probably just think about sticking all of our money right into opening a brand new pub. I don't know if we can sustain that level of that level of growth, though. So maybe instead of doing that, we stick it into stick it into the snack menu, a level four snack menu. So I mean, the profits are going to be absolutely out of this world. Okay, we got a lot of people. Let's get to it. I want you to be advertising all day. Yep, pub in Big Mugs. Yep, and you can be advertising all day. The pub in Drunkville. That's great. 
I would like to buy another brand new brewery tank as well, but unfortunately I don't have the money to do that. And I don't think that I'm going to be able to borrow any of the money because borrowing is just prohibited. So there you go. Uh, how are we doing for beer over here? We need... We need more catcher in the rye beer. Okay, we need more catcher in the rye beer and I think just Orby Brew as well. In fact, those are both of the things that we've got in store. And the Novo Primorsk Hooch is slowly getting there. So let's get some Catcher in the Rye started right now. There we go. Uh, Omar, it should be Omar that does it, but that's okay. Norman, you can do it for now. Sure, skip the manual brewing process. 100%, that's pretty darn good. Let's now get someone to clean the tank. And also pubs as well. Let's get two people to clean the pubs. I'm going to hire loads more people. And we're instead going to assign jobs through here because it's slightly easier. Right, tax evasion over there. Tax evasion over here. This is proper tax evasion. And you know what? I'm going to hire even more people. Now, can I get you to do the tank cleaning? Yeah, didn't think so. Didn't think so. Right, good. This is this is proper industry. We're making this happen right now. Okay, let's start transporting some more beer over to over to the old pub. Tell you what, we should also probably get some Novo Primors Cooch over there as well. There we go. Get that all done. All right, wonderful. Everyone's doing a great job. Let's get this pub, uh, let's get this tank cleaned up. I suppose I don't really need to care who does the, who does any of the jobs. Okay, 600 and something. Uh, we don't have the storage for that, so instead, let's go to Drunkville. Anyone can do it. There's not enough storage space at the pub. Oh, okay. All right, well, I guess we're just gonna, I just guess we're just gonna keep... I guess we're just going to keep all the stuff here. Can I unload it back into... Yeah, unload it back into the the tank over there. Okay, let's fast forward two hours. There we go. And then let's make ourselves some brand new beer. Uh, I think, honestly, we need more Orby Brew. Orby Brew and uh, Hundo Hundo. But Hundo Hundo is a little bit unpopular, I believe. Right, sure. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, let's open up and let's see what we got in store. So you're going to bartend. You're going to bartend at the pub in Big Mugs. Yep. Uh, Norman, you're going to bartend in the pub in Drunkville. Sure. Uh, Omar, I'm going to keep you around for now because I want you to do some more beer brewing in the evening. This is going to be our new time to brew beer. Right, let's try and double tax avoidance again. There we go. Double tax avoidance as much as we possibly can. And then that's going to give us, oh my goodness, maxing out the numbers here. So we're going to really get through this beer very quickly. Okay, two hours have passed. That's great. Let's go and see if we can make ourselves, what do we need to make? Oh yes, we need to make some Hundo Hundo, even though it is pretty chronically unpopular. There we go. Skip manual brewing. 94%. That's fine, honestly. Right. Two hours passed. Great. Let's get someone to clean this. Oscar, sure. Okay. And then we're going to brew. Oh, no. We're, I was going to try and brew one more, one more thing. But that's all right. Okay. Let's go to the next day. Tell you what, if I've got a beer order, I'll take it. Zero, zero to 65. Zero to 65 for strength. I mean, I think I might be able to do that. Zero to 65 for strength. Creativity needs to be at least 35. What is Catcher in the Rye? Zero to 65. So strength needs to be under 65. Hmm. Not entirely sure. Zero to 65... And 
create creativity above 35, strength under 65. Wheat ale, dark ale. What about dry stout? Dry stout. I think dry stout is what we need. I think dry stout is what we need. Let's get some dry stout. Sure. Let's brew it up. Choose a brewery tank. Big brewery tank. Uh, Omar, yep. You're our one. Buy the ingredients. Skip manual brewing. Fine. It's going to take a while. I need to get a brand new tank, but at the same time, I really want to expand my... I want to expand my beer collection. Right. Catcher in the right, sure. And some hooch. Let's get that moved over to big mugs. Oscar, not entirely sure why it's Oscar doing that job, but that's okay. I could buy a new car. I don't think I really care about a new car, to be honest. Right. Boss, you're going to be on tax evasion in big mugs. Norman, you're going to be on tax evasion in Drunkville. And let's get you guys just to advertise. There we go. Perfect. Let's get two cleaners. We need two pub cleaners. Bish. Bash. Bosh. What else do we need? Not much else, I don't believe. No, we don't need to bribe anyone. Okay, so nine employees is pretty... Is pretty substantial. Nova Primoris Cooch. We can set this up to drive to Drunkville. Yep, Drunkville's still got the storage. So technically does big mugs, but whatever. Okay, we're not brewing anything at the moment, are we? No, we're not. We should always be brewing. Always be brewing. That's one of the lessons that I've learned. Always be brewing. So let's get some Orby Brew on the go. It doesn't need to be great stuff. Just needs to be good stuff. Right, skip forward two hours. Great, and get some more Orby Brew. Brewing. Again. Not overly bothered about the quality of the stuff. Right. Nope. Unfortunately, we, uh... We need, we just need, we just need to get, we just need to get more types of beer. We just need to get more types of beer. We got a lot of, we got a lot of beer that is taking a heck of a long time to mature. Hundo Hundo. Did I did I see any Hundo Hundo over there? We do have a, hundo, a thousand units of Hundo Hundo. Uh, Novel Primorsk Hooch. We could get... I don't think we got any of that, do we? No, we don't have any Novel Primorsk Hooch. So let's get that... Let's get that underway. Hold on. Let's wait until we've got... Yeah, wait until we brewed that Orby Brew. And then... Let's brew Novo Primorsk Hooch. There we go. I mean, it's going to be utterly garbage stuff, but... That's a price that I'm willing to pay. Make a signature recipe? No thanks, mate. No thank you. No thank you. No thank you. No thank you. Okay, so that's, that's all ongoing at the moment. Oscar, whoops, I put the wrong person starting with O on. Uh, can I put this brewer... There we go. All right, that's cool. Norman is our guard. Yeah, this is quite a nice little thing to do, I guess. Sure. Uh, yeah, that's good. That's good. I'm pretty happy with that. Advertising is happening for two hours more. Sure, let's let that happen. Then let's give everyone a job. Bartender, it's going to be the boss man. And then I'm also going to get the security guard. Security guard is Norman. There we go. Let's get someone else to do tax evasion. We'll get Jake to do tax evasion over there. Sure. And let's get someone to bartend. Somebody that's not done a large number of hours today, please. Sid, sure. And Oscar, sure, you can do that. All right, the proof is going to be in the pudding. How much money are we going to make? A hundred people. A hundred people. I mean, that's just fantastic. Dust up. All right, whatever. Not much I can do about that. 
Still can't send any beers. That's okay. I mean, I can still do a little bit of brewing. What do I need? I don't really need anything. I could do some more hundo hundo. Sure, I'll make some more hundo hundo. It's going to be pretty bad hundo hundo, but that's okay. Uh, Omar, yep. You're going to be the one to do this. Great. I'm going to let two hours pass. Perfect. And then I'm going to get someone to do some tank cleaning. Because it is getting a little bit dirty at the moment. There we go. Two hours pass. And that'll take us nicely to the end of the day. Okay, I mean, quite a lot of expenses, but I think that that includes our 2,000, 2000 spend on uh, upgrading a pub. I don't know about that, though. Okay, the point is, we're, we're maxed out on, we're maxed out on beer, uh, beer storage at the moment, but we're just not, we're just not making enough of this stuff, I don't think. Do we need any specific type of beer over here? I mean, we could do with a few more bits of Orby Brew few more units of Orby Brew, and we could definitely do with a lot more Orby Brew right over there. So let's load as much Orby Brew as we possibly can into the truck at the moment, and drive it to Drunkville. Let's get the boss man to do it. There's not enough space. How much space do we have? Only enough for 500 units or so. Okay. Right, let's literally just stick with 500 units. Okay, it's only going to be half the capacity, or half the amount of beer, uh, half the amount of Orby Brew that we actually have, but that's fine. Okay, let's go Let's go to Drunkville, that's cool. Pre precisely configure the equipment. I want to get all this stuff upgraded, actually, but I don't know how much it's going to cost. Oh, we have three experience points. Each level increases the speed with which the regulation returns to the green zone by 9%. When skipping manual brewing, each level increases the chance of brewing high quality beer. Okay. Uh, each level increases the speed, which when skip, each level increases the chance of brewing high quality beer. Each level increases the final quality of the beer brewed by 2%. I mean, that's pretty good, right? It's just like a no brainer. I think it's got to be all about the water purification system. I didn't realize that I had those brewery uh, upgrade tokens. It's quite nice. Happy days. It's really, really good. Uh, 500. I mean, once we get the truck back from today, we should be able to... We should be able to move some more, 500 more units out into the Big Mugs pub. And once we do that, then we're going to be absolutely fine. Yeah. Fine. Delete all messages. I really... I'm not that bothered about it. What did I need to do? Open a pub in a new city district where where is no competitors pubs. Okay. How can I acquire this competitors pub? How, how do I do this? I mean, all I need to do where there's no competitor, I mean, I just need to do... To do this. I need to open a brand new pub over here, but I've already done that. I've already opened a brand new pub where there was no competitors over in this area, but that's fine. Stadium Hill. I mean, there are so many areas that I could potentially open a pub up. Uh, you never know. I might later on today open up a brand new a brand new brewery. There's no point in brewing any beer at the moment. There's just absolutely no point. Right, let's get some uh, Omar, you're not the man. You're not the man for the job. I need to... I need to get other people to do it. Okay. Sure. Sure. There we go. Okay. Two hours in. Grand. Let's get some tax avoidance done. An integral part of the beer brewing management process. Okay. Also, there's some catcher in the rye finally being made. Is that fine? Is that is that good? Is that... Is that sufficient? <gasps> it is indeed. Great. Oh, man. These beer orders are so good. Oh, man. Orby Brew fits the bill. Well, let's send Orby Brew then, because Orby Brew takes a heck of a lot uh, a lot shorter time to mature. So that's great. Anyway, that got rid of a, a bunch of units, actually, which means that we can now do a little bit of brewing. Omar, my man, let's get you brewing some beer. Uh, let's get Orby Brew on the go. Sure. 
I mean, it's cheap, it's cheerful. Skip manual brewing, get 100%, plus 6.6% due to the fact that uh, I got those I got those upgrades. That's pretty darn good. Let's, let's set up a brand new pub to open. I'm not super bothered about it, to be honest, but it means that hopefully, We'll be able to uh, we'll be able to get the four learning points and two experience points, which means that we get more beer beer uh, beer recipes available to us, and that makes me very happy indeed. All right, we're almost ready for opening. However, I need to let time skip forward by a little bit. In fact, no, I don't. Why have we not got any beer over here? Catcher in the rye. Two things of catcher in the rye. It's not expensive enough. Right, let's refill with some Orby Brew and some Catcher in the Rye, sure. And let's go to Big Mugs and let's get our, well, we don't have a resident driver. But if we did, I'm sure we would use him right now. Uh, what other beers do I need to get? I mean, honestly, a couple, a couple more units of Orby Brew wouldn't hurt. But part of the problem is that I just don't have enough space at the moment. Can I upgrade my brewery? 1,500 bucks to increase the storage? I think I actually want to do that. The reason that I want to do that is because at the moment, I'm just not anywhere close to where I need to be in terms of uh, having the space to store my beers whilst they're, whilst they're turning from wort into actual beer. Yeah. So now I should definitely be able to do some more stuff. So let's get some more beers brewed, shall we? What do I need? I need some... I need some more Catcher in the Rise. I think I probably need two batches of Catcher in the Rise. So let's get Omar on that right now. Great. Buy the ingredients. Skip the manual brewing mode. I think we should be hitting 100% quite a lot. I, I need to get some tax evasion done, by the way. Here we go. Tax evasion, tax evasion, tax evasion, tax evasion. Are we cleaned? Yeah, we're cleaned up over there, and we're cleaned up over here as well. We're pretty much ready to go. Uh, I could do with a few more kegs. A few more kegs moved across. Let's not move 800. Let's move like 300 or something. I think 300 was manageable. There we go. To big mugs. And let's get Sid to do it. I feel like I'm moving towards a situation where I have, like, a daytime staff and then a nighttime staff. Okay, Norman. Bartending at the pub in Drunkville. Speaking of, uh, speaking of the pub in Drunkville, I need to adjust the prices of beer. Oh, no. It's not technically open, although I can't adjust the price. That's deeply irritating. Okay. Right, well, there's not much I can do about that. Okay, Samuel, let's get you on security guarding. And let's get you on security guarding here. Right, uh, I still want to do a little bit more brewing overnight. I mean, I might as well, right? Omar's still got a few more hours left on his shift. I've got enough money to, do, to buy the ingredients, so I guess that's what matters. All right, let's go forward by two hours. Uh-oh, inspection, uh-oh. Irregular irregularities in accounting. The compound of your evading taxes has been reset to zero. <gasps> oh no. All right, well, I've still got a little bit more tax evasion to be to be done. That, that sucks. That sucks pretty darn hard. All right, maybe we should... Uh... Maybe we should get off the, the, the gas in terms of, in terms of tax evasion. Right, one hour forward. Okay, good. Well, at least we'll be probably cash positive by the end of the night. Right, clean for two hours. Visit of a popular blogger. Your pub in Drunkville is visited by a popular blogger. He made a review. He liked the quality of the beer in the pub. The growth in popularity of the pub during the week will increase. Hey, hey, that's great stuff. That's great news. I love bloggers. They're my favorite. That, it's, that's fantastic. Uh, as long as we keep it stocked with beer, then we should be fine. I might in try and increase the size, the size of the pub. That would be pretty darn good. 62 hours until the opening of that pub. That is cool indeed. Uh, all right, let's try and make one more brew. What do I need? Um, a little bit more, a little bit more dry stout, maybe. 
Dry stout takes a long time to mature, so it's quite irritating. Dark lager. Do we have any dark lager? We do. We got the hundo hundo in stock. Um, sure. Dry stout. Huge brewery tank, and Omar, it's going to be your last brew of the evening. All right. Let's go forward that length of time, and now let's get Omar to do what he is, what he was born to do, which is apparently make beer. All right. We got three hours until the pub closes. That's completely fine. Do we have any... We have any beer that we can sell? No, apparently not. Officials have not revealed any serious violations. That's right, that's right. No serious violations at the pub. Sucks to be you, Inspector. All right, I mean, we did lose quite a lot of money, but that is because we spent 4,500 on, uh, on a pub. So there you go. We got a pub opening up in Hangover Shore. Very excited about that. I'm more concerned about the fact that it's going to give me uh, going to give me street cred and by street cred I mean experience points that's really what I'm after right Derek you're our man uh, do we want to pour some more upgrades into this area do we want to pour more upgrades into here honestly the pub size would be quite good to do but not super essential do I need to adjust the price of the Orby brew manually Oh man, this is a real problem. So some units of Orby Brew are super cheap, and then others are super expensive. Alright, well that is intensely irritating. I wish I could just set a price for my beer. Sort of uh, across, the, across the board, so to speak. Okay, speaking of, let's get some more... Let's get some more beer, let's get some more Orby Brew. Let's do it. Omar, there we go. Buy the ingredients. Skip the brewing process. Great. Okay, are we cleaned up? Did I set up some cleaners? I did indeed. Uh, you are pub cleaning. But I don't think you're pub cleaning over here. We haven't set up cleaners for this area. Sid, sure. Tax avoidance, yes. Uh, one thing that I am aware of is that you can do tax avoidance... If you do tax avoidance, like, right after the inspectors have been, you should be fine. There we go. You're advertising, and let's get someone else advertising out here as well. We're fine for beer over there. We're fine for beer over here as well, to be honest. Okay. And we can afford to make one more single beer. Also, the dry stout has finally come through, which is great. I still cannot send a single, a single thing. Okay, I mean, all of these beers require very, very low strength. So 0 to 65. So 0 to 65 in strength. Let me see if I can get something. Um, recipes. 0 to 65 in strength and creativity above 35. 0 to 65. Dry stout. Is dry stout not what we need? I think this would be fulfilled by dry stout, right? Maybe the dry stout just hasn't... Oh no, it's 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 here. Strength is 32. Strength is 32. Yeah, that's fine. Bitterness is 35 to 65. Yes. Ah, the quality. The quality is too low. That's the problem. The quality of the dry stout is is just far too low. Well, we've got dry stout uh, coming in in a little bit, which is of much higher quality, which is great. Which means that we can just sell the lower quality dry stout, and then we can uh, sort of export all of this stuff, which is which is fine. That's that's not a problem at all. I'm quite happy just to to do that. Uh, should we go and clean up the tank, and then let's see if we can. Let's see if we can do something about this. Oh my goodness, no one has got a job. No one needs to do anything. There's nothing which needs to be done. Maybe some some beer moving, I guess. We'll just move a collection. Sure. Bit more Orby Brew. 
bit more Novo Primorse Cooch. Bit of Hundo Hundo. Ah, uh, we can't move the last one. We can't move. Okay, you know what? Just cancel the Orby Brew. And then just move to Big Mugs. Boss, sure. Samuels on advertising. I don't think we need to advertise the other pub, but that's okay. Can I set... Can I set a bartender now? No, I can't. I wish I could. That would be quite good. It means that you can sort of set up for the day rather than having to wait. I need 600 more units over there. That's cool. Right, and I can brew... What should I brew? I should brew one more batch of dry stout, I think. Great. Omar. There we go. What is that? 95%. Don't mind if I do. That makes the whole upgrade thing fantastic. It, it, it works really well. Okay. Uh, yep, I think we're I think we're just about ready. I think we are just about ready. Alright. Let's uh, let's open up. Let's see what we've got. Are people upset? No, no one's upset yet. Okay, bartender. Let's get the boss to do it. And let's get someone on security guarding. Someone who doesn't have any hours worked. Dustin, that's fine. Do we need anyone else to do anything? Not really. We need a bartender over here. We'll just get someone who hasn't worked any hours. Norman, you're usually our guard, but that's okay. We'll just assign another guard for the evening. Somebody like Sid, who also has a minimum number, a minimal number of uh, of hours worked. All right, that's great. Okay, when's that dry stout actually maturing? Thirty-one, thirty-one hours. So basically two days. Gosh darn, takes such a long time, doesn't it? Inspection. Aha! No serious violations. You're gosh darn right. All right, I think we just wait until the evening's done. I mean, we can't brew any more beer. There's not really much point in doing that. All right. Pretty darn good. Pub in Drunkville. 13 units. 13 units. Why was that so unbelievably bad? Is it because I've pumped the price of beer right up? No. In fact, the beer is... Shockingly... Shockingly average price. In fact, I really should do something about that. Alright, well, not much I can do about the fact that my pub just isn't working for whatever reason. That is what it is. Institute? Oh! That's cool, you can see the, the buildings that are... that are present in the state. Uh, much more industry workers. Okay, industry workers Cheap, premium, strength, medium, strong, balanced, bitter, creativity, traditional. Uh, and what am I what am I selling over here? I mean, cheap. All of this stuff is cheap. There's no. I do know that there's no Orby brew in here. Is Orby brew cheap? Orby brew is pretty cheap. It's also not creative at all. And the bitterness is. Slightly more than balanced. Uh, let's move some Orby Brew to the Drunkville pub, shall we? Yep. And... Okay, we're not going to be able to do that. We can only do 600 units. Okay. We'll stick with 540 just to be on the safe side. Yeah, I think that that might be part of the problem. Because I've misread the market. The market is plant workers, industry workers. When do you open up? 26 hours? How are we doing over here? Yeah, this is sort of like an all-round... An all-round pub. Okay, and then let's get some more Orby Brew over there. Yeah, as I say, there's not really much point in brewing any more beer at the moment. Because we just don't have... We don't have enough of this stuff. I'll tell you what I could do. I could put some dry stout... Not that much dry stout. Probably, yeah, start at zero and work your way up potato. That sounds pretty good. And Novo Primorsk Hooch. Sure, let's move that over to Big Mugs. 
That's great. Jake. Cool. What other what other beer do we need? Orby Brew. I mean, we're fine for Orby Brew. We got 300 units of Orby Brew. A little bit spread out, but that's fine. Ah, it's all right. It's all right. Nothing to worry about. We do need to get a little bit of cleaning done, but that's fine. Dustin. Sure. And... Norman. Sure. All right. Inspection. That's right. No serious violations. No siree. I am 100% law abiding. Right, we can still do another 600 units of something. Why don't we move another 600 units of Orby Brew across? There we go. To... Not enough space. Alright, that's so irritating. Unload into storage, like, 40 units. And then try again. All right, Sam the man, get to it. Okay, I literally think... Okay, now we need to try and get some tax evasion on the go. Because tax evasion is... Well, it's an important part of our enterprise. And, you know, lightning can't strike twice in the same day, can it? Right, just, I'm... I don't really care about paying people any overtime. I mean, wages form such a small part of my outgoings that it doesn't actually matter what I do. There we go. I should have probably set up with some advertisers, but as it so happens, I'm sure it's fine. Anyway, we've got some more Orby Brew over here. Let's see exactly how it goes. Let's see what our supplies look like. Yeah. People are drinking literally just Orby Brew. It's, it's Orby Brew. It's, it's Orby Brew. That's cool. That's cool. That's good to know, actually. It means that we can just get away with supplying literally just Orby Brew. Okay, so as a consequence, let's get some more stuff brewed up. There we go. Omar. There we go. And I think we just wait until the end of the day. Yep. Lots and lots and lots and lots of money. Fantastic. Pretty darn happy with that. 1,600 bucks in the bank. I'd like to get the pub size increased. Yep. Let's get it increased yet again. Two increases to the pub in Drunkville. The reason is, I'm pretty sure that I can make this work with just a whole bunch of Orby Brew moved across. If I just continually stick Orby Brew into the Drunkville pub. It will work pretty darn well. Yeah, that's what I'm sort of thinking. So let's try and get as much moved across as we possibly can. Nope, not Hondo Hondo. Get that moved out. Orby Brew, yep, let's get that moved in. Great, and over to Drunkville. There we go. And let's get some stuff cleaned up. Not Omar. Nope. Yeah, I must say that the, the whole sort of cleaning aspect of this, I mean, I feel like that's something that should be automated. I mean, I don't, I don't need to be clicking on the same button every single day. Also, now that the dry stout has, uh, has finally matured, I should be able to, yep, that's the plan. I should be able to use it. Oh, for all three of these beer orders. Oh boy, oh boy, that feels so good. Look at that, what a boost, what a boost. That is just delightful. Okay, can I try increasing the pub here further? I kind of want to try it. Yeah, okay, max up to four, and then let's max you up once over there as well. That's very, very cool indeed. So now the maximum capacity of this pub is 200 visitors. It's actually bigger than my, uh, than my, than my regular pub over there, but that's okay, my, my, my starting pub. Okay, let's go forward. New pub in Hangover Shore is ready to open. Right, well, I guess we'll see if indeed that uh, that achievement is a little bit of a deception, or if it's not. Because what I think it should say is... What I think it should say is open a pub in an area where it is already occupied by a uh, competitor. So that's what I think 
That's what I think it should say, but I don't think that it does say that. But you know what? We'll wait until we'll wait until the evening rolls around and then we'll we'll see what we've got. Okay, I'm not gonna do any tax evasion today. I feel like, you know, I'm just not in the mood to tax evade. I'm not in the mood to defraud the tax man. Am I in the mood to brew some beer though? I think I most certainly am. Right, someone clean up the tank first, and then let's brew some beer. See, I told you, this is, my uh, my feelings are never wrong. Right, we've got a lot of beer in stock at the moment. Catcher in the Rye, we've not actually got that much. Not actually got that much Catcher in the Rye at all. Now that I know the, now that I know the secret, I'm gonna gr brew some more Orby Brew first, and then we're gonna brew some more Catcher in the Rye. Uh, Omar, yep. Okay. Yeah. Uh, also, oh, I forgot. We need to find out what's going on over here. There's no buildings over here. Mm, looks like a similar sort of makeup to the hangover. Uh, it looks like a similar sort of makeup to, to big mugs over there. Resort, little more industry workers, little more tourists, little more VIPs, more lady friends, more parties. What the heck is a lady friend? Is that the same, the same thing as a... What is a lady friend? Is that a... A lady of the night? Is that the sort of... Is that is that what it is? Or is it just a... Sort of female customer? Uh, I'll need a little bit of clarity on that, if that's possible, please. Okay, alright, fine. Uh, let's, let's get ready to open. Okay, good. Let's get some... Let's just get a nice selection moved across. Sure, we'll get a uh, 160 units. 160 units. I tell you what, it would be really nice if there was a button that was just like 50% and it just gives you 50% of whatever you have in storage. Okay, Nova Prime Mars Hooch, Hundo Hundo, Orby Brew. Yeah, let's get a lot of Orby Brew. And then I think that's everything. In fact, no, hold up. Half this. 160. And then let's get Catcher in the Rye as well. So that is literally 160 of absolutely everything that we've possibly got. That is the that is the best that is the best introductory beer train that I think I've uh, I've ever done. All right, Jake, you do the business of moving stuff across. Uh, I can actually now start people on some tax evasion as I've already had I've already had the inspectors today. Not in Hangover Shore, although I don't think I'm going to get one in Hangover Shore today. I just don't don't think it's going to happen. Uh, do I need to start brewing some more beer? I did say that I wanted to brew some more Catcher in the Rise, so let's get this tank cleaned up, and then we'll start doing that right away. Right, skip forward two hours. There we go. And let's get people assigned as brewers. We might need to hire a few more people. Right, I'm going to try and keep an eye on uh, this pub right down here, and specifically Orby Brew. I should have set the price of Orby Brew before I let it go, but that's okay. I'm pretty certain that it's, I'm pretty, I'm pretty certain that Orby Brew is the big seller over here. Uh, yep, we need a security guard. Let's put a security guard in Drunkville first. I feel like, given the number of people in that pub, we could probably just do with, uh, probably do with doing that and there we go okay I did want to keep Omar free so actually yes cancel that task that's not a big deal at all instead I wanted to get some catcher in the rye beer Omar yep I don't have enough money for that all right what am I what what is that money that is 500 bucks an hour all right, that's that's uh, that's pretty darn impressive. Okay, good. I think that we can now just uh, just wait. Yeah. Oh, hold up. Turns out I've already got the beer for the job. Oh goodness gracious me! Uh, Hundo Hundo isn't really selling like hotcakes at the moment, so I'm gonna send that away. And what is this? I mean. In any case, I would always prefer to sell... Mostly, I would prefer to sell Orby Brew, but... 
if I've got some stuff in stock, I might as well just sort of use it up. Okay. Oh, yes. Hold up. How many units do I need? Is it 300? Okay, I should probably use Dry Stout then, so it's just all in a one -er. Oh my goodness. Visit of a popular blogger. He's visited the pub in Big Mugs. Oh, that's great. That's fantastic. Uh, we've almost been cleaned out of beer. Almost completely cleaned out. Okay, can I send some more Orby Brew to Big Mugs? Sure, get the boss to do it. Also, how are we doing with, uh, with Orby Brew over here? Yeah, Orby Brew is the, is the big fan favorite. Alright, let's go forward another hour. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what a ridiculously profitable day. There was a dust up, uh, disorders increase, uh, whatever, whatever. Not bothered about that at all. Right, I'd like to open up a pub in a competing area. Museum, little more students, more hipsters, more tourists. Premium, special, strength, all creativity, all. All right, I mean, that's cool. Tourists from Asia, tourists from America, tourists from Europe. All right. There's a different number of tourists. I want an easy, an easy problem to solve. Fans, premium, special. Bitterness, bitter and balanced. All right, let's open up a pub in, uh, in this area. Okay, so it turns out that that achievement was written slightly incorrectly, but that's okay. Four learning points and two experience points. What is our next... World Famous Beer Festival is drawing near. The festival traditionally hosts a contest for brewers all over the world. You should take part in the festival and win at least two nominations. It would be the best adver ad advertisement of your beer and very useful experience. The contest is held in five nominations. Best creative beer, best strong beer, best light beer, best sweet beer, best bitter beer. Only for premium sorts of beer. Brew some premium beer as high quality as possible and those characteristics meet the requirement of a nomination and send 40 pints to the jury. All right, when is this beer festival? Okay, I don't actually have... I don't actually have any possible things, uh, any possible beers that can meet the submission requirements at the moment. However, I do have... Aha! This looks like premium beer. I've unlocked... Oh my goodness, look at all of this. Look at all of this. IPA? All right, this is cool. We're finally starting to get to beers that uh, beers that I am vaguely familiar with. All righty then. Okay, so what's the difference between the, the little bronze star and then the silver star? Is the silver star premium? Okay, so is this a... Ah, yes, it is premium. Okay, so there's only... There's only cheap and premium. So we need to get, we need to get, uh, so what is it? What, what, what do we need? Strong beer, sweet beer, creative beer, light beer. Okay, so we need a super, super creative beer. Let's just have a look for the maximum amount of creativeness in a beer. I mean, that's pretty darn creative. The coffee stout. Coffee stout. Nut brown ale. Bread ale. I think bread ale is probably... Oh, no. Citrus ale. Citrus ale. Hold on. Sweet. Strong chocolate ale or citrus ale. Okay, so the strong chocolate ale is the thing. Right, so let's get that learnt, okay? And then let's make some strong stuff. Okay, we'll, we'll do it tomorrow. Uh, let's make some strong chocolate ale. Let's get this tank cleaned out first thing. Sure. Okay. Uh, as much as I do want to continue to... Oh, water purification system. Yes, please. Upgrade that. And upgrade that. That's a free 10%. That is free 10% quality increase. That's incredible. That is... That is absolutely incredible. Uh, okay. So, now we need to consider... Oh, hold on. The yeast is... The yeast shows different silver color things. Okay, uh, that's that's fine. Uh, yes, we need to get some more beer over here. It's the Orby Brew that's selling like hotcakes. 
I might even need to get another truck. I'm going to get another truck. Sure. A second car. Car number two. Two cars. That'll keep us going for a little while. Orby Brew. We've got plenty of Orby Brew. What do we need? We need some Dark Ale over here. Let's stick... Stick 400 units of whatever... Whatever we've got. Hundo, Hundo. Sure. Sort by expiry date. Yeah. And some Dark Stout. No, let's we'll just stick with that. Cool. Head on over to Pig Mugs. Dustin, you're the man. Yeah, what's what's been selling particularly well over here? Not uh, Novo Primorsk Hooch. It looks like Orby Brew has been selling in fairly large quantities. So let's move some Orby Brew across. 200. Uh, and a little bit more. 600. Sure, that's 800 together. That should be totally fine. Let's get that across to Hangover Shore. Norman, the the used-to-be guard. That's cool. Nominations at the festival. Okay, I need to get some more stuff. What what other what other nominations do I need? Okay. With at least 66 and quality of 75. Okay. Best strong beer. So I need a strong beer. Let's find a strong, strong beer. I mean, Imperial Stout, 85 and 95. I don't think that we're going to get any more, any more strong than that. 85 and 95 strength. Imperial Stout looks like the thing for us. Yeah. Okay, so Imperial Stout it is. Where is it? Yep, Imperial Stout. Let's get that learnt. Uh, let's start the brewing process. In fact, you know what? No, I can just use the small tank. I can use the small brewery tank to brew the things that I wanted to brew. Also, I saw a little... What's that sun mean? No idea. No idea whatsoever. Uh, okay, so I needed to brew Imperial Stout. Let's get that brewing right now. Let's get Omar to do it since he is the, the man who can brew the best. Let's brew as much as we possibly can. Buy the ingredients. $12. Let's manually brew this. I don't want to make this a signature. I'm not even interested in, in making it anything. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now, this is why you want to get the the upgrades, the other upgrades, as opposed to just a sort of straight up quality increase. Look at the difficulty of this. All right, 97 plus 10%, right? Plus the straight flat 10% increase. That makes it 100%. That was easy. Easy. That seems ridiculously OP. Anyway, that's 89 strength. That's pretty darn good. Uh, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, da -da -da -da. Okay, so that's one of the things that we're gonna that we're gonna do. Uh, do I want to send people to clean up? I do indeed. Okay. Right, there needs to be a way to automate the cleaning, to be honest. There really does. I need to... I mean, that opens in 62 hours. That could be ages. I mean, that is ages. Okay, let's get this tank cleaned up as quickly as we possibly can as well. And let's just brew some more... Orby brew? I've got quite a lot of Orby brew at the moment. Do I need anything else? Novo Primorsk Cooch. Need a bit more Novo Primorsk Cooch, I guess. Sure. Sure. We'll brew a big, a big batch of it. Uh, not gonna devote Omar's time to that. Honestly, doesn't deserve it. Right, and that tank is being cleaned up. Let's get that brewed. Inspection. That's right, I've not been cheating the tax man today. No siree. Right. Dry stout. Cool. And some more dry stout. Great. That's a heck of a lot of money for doing absolutely nothing. Makes me so happy. Makes me so, so happy. Okay, we need to brew some strong chocolate ale, I believe. Strong chocolate ale can be submitted for the creativity contest as well as the strength contest. I've just noticed. But anyway. 
Strong chocolate ale. Let's get 40 thingamabobbers. 40 pints. Buy the ingredients. Costs 13 bucks. Uh, I'm going to skip the manual brewing. 98%. Well, you let me down a little bit there, Omar. But that's fine. 98% is still, well, far and away good enough to be submitted to the competition. What else do we need? Best light beer. Strength at most 36. Uh, 34 even. Okay, so anything with a strength of less than 36. Pale lager? Is it lit? Do we literally just want to get... I think we literally just want to get pale lager. Okay, so that's good. That's going to be the light beer. The sweet beer. Bitterness of at most 34. So we want to get the most unbitter beer that we possibly can. Sweet stout. Is that what we want? Sweet stout? I think it is literally sweet stout that we want. Yep. Okay, and do we have one more recipe to unlock? We have one more to unlock. And the bitter beer. So we want to get a super bitter beer. Alright, rice lager? That's cheap though. That's cheap. We can't do that. Strong dark ale. Yeah, yeah. We can't do we can't do rice lager. We need to get something else. Sour ale. I think sour ale is going to take the biscuit for that one, I'm afraid. Sour ale. Yeah, sour ale gets it ever so slightly. Right, cool. Okay, so all of the premium things that we have at the moment, all of the premium drinks that we have at the moment are... Uh, our competition submissions. So we got Imperial Stout and Chocolate Ale. Let's get the tank cleaned up in a second. I could just buy a new tank, actually. For a thousand bucks? No, it's not worth it, is it? Okay, no pubs need to be cleaned. Let's get the Big Brewer tank to be cleaned. There we go. Let's get this tank cleaned up. There we go, as swiftly as possible. How are we doing for beers, though? We're fine. We're fine on beers pretty much everywhere. Yeah, I mean, we might need to get a few more beers over here. But the good news is that I know what we need. We literally just need Orby Brew. How much have we got? We can do 800 and then about 600. Right. Cool. Uh, why did I get Hundo Hundo? I don't want that. I don't want Hundo Hundo. I wanted Orby Brew. Yes, that's what I wanted. And then we want to send both of these to Drunkville. There we go. Sid, sure. Uh, I want to adjust the price as well. So let's do that right now. Orby Brew. Max price. Max price. Beer in transit. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot adjust the price whilst it's in transit, but that's A-OK. -okay. All right. Let's think about getting some more beer brewed. So what have I already brewed? I already brewed... I already brewed of the premium stuff, Imperial Stout and Strong Chocolate, which means that I still need to do sour, sweet... Sour, sweet, and... Oh, the pale ale... The pale ale was supposed to be something that was weak, but the pale ale is not actually... Is not actually a premium beer. Okay. What did I get the pale ale for? It was very, very low strength. Okay, so I need to find something that's a little bit more... A pills. A pilsner? A bitter ale? I think a bitter ale... A bitter ale is... Probably the best. Yeah, okay. Let's get a... Bitter ale. No, we can't do it. We can't do it. Okay, that's a major bummer. Because uh, I don't have... I don't have... I don't have what we need. I, I missed both. I, I unlocked that recipe by mistake. Okay. Let's not worry about that then for now. Let's just not worry about it. Okay, strong chocolate ale. What, what, what do I actually have? I've done, done chocolate, done imperial. So everything else. Everything else. So, sweet stout. Yep. 
Oh, uh, no, not Oscar. Although I have clicked on Oscar enough times to realize that he is probably maybe our third best brewer. That's a lot for ingredients. Okay, 83%. That's fine. Right, inspection. That's okay. Sour ale. Small brewery tank. Choose the employee. Omar. Yep. 88%. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. I've got to have the beer in stock. Absolutely. I have so much beer that it's actually kind of a bit ridiculous. Okay. Let's get people on bartending. I think today is going to be the last day. Probably that we play. Because I feel that uh, we're going to get... We're going to submit everything to the beer competition. And then that will sort all of our problems. How long does it take to mature? Oh, it's going to take a heck of a long time to mature. All right. So we're going to need to... We're going to need to come back. At a point in the future. And find out what happens in the beer competition. How exciting is that? All right. There we go. Let's see how much money we make. Oh my goodness. All right. Can you guys stop inspecting me at some point, please? Oh my goodness gracious me. 2,700 bucks in a single day. Don't mind if I do. I think that that is a comfortable, very comfortable place to finish the episode up. In the next episode, we're going to be, uh, we're going to be opening up a brand new pub 48 hours in. Not long. Not long at all. All right. Well, ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Open to Potato. This has been Brewer. I'll see you next time. Bye.